Hi, welcome to Creative Learning. Today we are studying the mathematical chapter of trigonometry of class 10 KCEB. Before we begin, do subscribe our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. For, uh, introduction. As you can see in this diagram, if you want to find the height of this lighthouse or to find the distance of the lighthouse and the board, then uh, or if you want to find the width of this stream or to find the height of this lighthouse a pillar, we need some of the mathematical principle and this mathematical principle comes in a branch of mathematics called trigonometry. The word trigonometry is from Greek word which uh, prime means three, gon means sides and metros means measurement. It is related to a right angle triangle measurement. As you can see in this diagram, this one is a right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, if you want to find the height of this lighthouse or the distance between the lighthouse and the board, you can use some of the techniques and these techniques are mm, come in the branch of mathematics. Next, identify the sides to find the trigonometric ratios. In this one, if you want to, con we have to consider one reference angle as theta and the biggest side of this right angle triangle is hypotenuse and the uh, side opposite to this angle theta is opposite side and the side which is adjacent to this angle theta you have to call it as adjacent side in the same way in this triangle uh, angle a is theta therefore opposite side to this angle theta is bc so this one is opposite side and the side adjacent to this angle theta is ab so it becomes a adjacent side and in both the cases ac is a hypotenuse trigonometric ratio in a right angle triangle ABC, if angle C is theta, then uh, the side opposite to this angle theta is AB and the side which is adjacent to this angle theta is BC. So the first trigonometric ratio is sin theta. It is the ratio of opposite side by hypotenuse and in a diagram the opposite side is AB and the hypotenuse is AC. The next trigonometric ratio is cos theta which is the ratio of adjacent side by hypotenuse and here the adjacent side is BC and the hypotenuse is AC. So cos theta is BC by AC. The third trigonometric ratio is tan theta which is the ratio of opposite side by adjacent side and in the diagram the opposite side is AB and the adjacent side is BC. So AB by BC gives you tan theta. The fourth trigonometric ratio is cosecant theta which is the reciprocal of sin theta and gives the ratio of hypotenuse and opposite side and in the diagram the hypotenuse is AC and the opposite side is AB. The fifth quadrat the fifth trigonometric ratio is secant theta and it is the reciprocal of cos theta and gives the ratio of hypotenuse by adjacent side. And in the diagram the hypotenuse is AC and the adjacent side is BC. Okay, the last and the sixth the trigonometric ratio is called theta and it is the ratio of adjacent side and opposite side and it can also be called as the reciprocal of tan theta and given by BC by AB. Trigonometric reciprocal relation. As I have already told you that the reciprocal of sin theta is cosecant theta and you can write it as 1 by sin theta is equal to cosecant theta. The reciprocal of cosecant theta, uh, the cosine theta uh, the cos theta is secant theta and you can write it as 1 by cos theta is equal to secant theta. The reciprocal of tangent theta or tan theta is cotangent theta or cot theta and you can write it as 1 by tan theta is equal to cot theta. The reciprocal of cot theta is tan theta and you can write it as 1 by cot theta is equal to tan theta and the same way the reciprocal of secant theta is cos theta and you can write it as 1 by secant theta is equal to cos theta. And the reciprocal of cosecant theta is secant uh, cosecant theta is sin theta and you can write it as 1 by cos cosecant theta is equal to sin theta. So based on that uh, reciprocal relation you can also write it as tan a is equal to sin a by cos a and cot a is equal to cos a by sin a or cot a into tan a gives you 1 and secant a into cos a gives you 1 and cosecant a into sin a gives you 1. Trigonometric ratios of angles from 0 degree and 90 degree. The standard angles of trigonometry are 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. 
As you can see in the table, the value of sin theta is increasing from 0 to 90 degree, but the value of cos theta is decreasing from 0 to 90 degree. Let's see the corresponding values of trigonometric ratios based on the standard angles. L let's see first of all the value of sin 0 is 0, sin 30 is 1 by 2, sin 45 is 1 by root 2, and the uh, sin 60 is root 3 by 2, and sin 90 is 1. And in the same way, sin th the reciprocal of sin theta is cosecant theta. So, the value of sin th uh, cosecant theta is nd, that is 1 by sin theta is 1 by 0, which becomes nd, means not defined. The value of cosecant 30 is 2, the, cosec the value of sin uh, cosecant 45 is root 2, and the value of cosecant 60 degree is 2 by root 3, and the value of cosecant 90 is 1. So, the reciprocal of sin, sin theta is nothing but cosecant theta and the values are also the reciprocal. Next, we have the trigonometric function of cos theta. The value as I have already told you, the value of cos theta is decreasing from 0 to 90 degree. Let's see the corresponding values. The value of cos 0 is 1. The value of cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. The value of cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. The value of 60 degree, cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 and the value of cos 90 is 0. Therefore, the, therefore the ratio uh, reciprocal of cos theta is secant theta. Uh, cos 90 is 0. The next thing, the reciprocal of cos theta is secant theta. So, cos secant, secant 0 is also 1. Secant 30 degree is equal to 2 by root 3. Next, the secant 45 degree is root 2. Next, the secant 60 degree is uh, 2 but uh, but second 90 degree is nd that is not defined okay and the, the next thing is tan theta the value of tan 0 is 0 the value of uh, tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 and the value of tan 45 degree is 1 the value of tan 60 is root 3 and the value of tan 90 degree is nd okay Next, the reciprocal of cot theta is uh, tan theta is cot theta and the value of cot 0 is nd, the value of cot 30 degree is root 3, the value of cot 45 degree is 1 and the value of 60, uh, cot 60 degree is 1 by root 3 and the value of cot 90 degree is 0. So, this is the trigonometric ratio for the angles from 0 degree to 90 degree. And in trigonometry we have this complementary ratio as sin is converted into cos and cos is converted into sin, tan is converted into cot and cot is converted into tan. In similarly, secant is converted into cosecant and cosecant is converted into secant. Generally, we can write it as sin, sin theta is equal to cos of 90 minus theta and cos theta is equal to sin of 90 minus theta as I have told you earlier. Now next the tan theta can you, you can write it as cot of 90 minus theta and cot of 90 minus theta can also be written as tan of cot of 90 minus theta is can also be written as tan theta or tan of 90 minus theta can be written as cot theta. Similarly secant theta is equal to cosecant of 90 minus theta or if you want a cosecant theta then you can write it as secant of 90 minus theta. So they are the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Next we have trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities. First of all, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. In other way, if you want to find the cos square theta, you can write it as 1 minus sin square theta. Or if you want to find the sin square theta, you can write it as 1 minus cos square theta. The next trigonometric identity I have already told you that 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cosecant theta. <laughs> And in the same way, if you want to find a cot square theta, you can write it as cosecant square theta minus 1. Or cosecant square theta minus cot square theta gives you 1. This is also one of the identity. And the last one, the last identity is tan square theta plus 1 is equal to secant square theta. And this identity can also be written as tan square theta is equal to secant square theta minus 1. A second square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Now so we have learned the key concepts related to this chapter of trigonometry. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more exercise problems related to this chapter. Thank you.